Okay, now we've made all our connections on the bottom of the board, uh, we can actually sit this, um, well what's currently a mess, <laughs> uh, back into our um, into the bottom of the chassis. So, as I was saying before, you need to think about where your cables and that are going to go. And you don't want to, you don't want to have them running, say, um, over this or anywhere that the cables are going to get crushed once the um, the boards actually back in. So because I've made my wiring nice and long, and I'm going to trim it up again soon, um, there's actually already a little outlet here, and that's where I'm actually going to have all my wiring pop out. And there we go. Our board sits down nice and neat, it's, uh, no cables are going to get crushed there. And um, then we can just route them over to our sockets. Okay, so time to build this little uh, video circuit. Now I've got a transistor here that um, I'm going to use. And with this I've pulled the legs apart so it's nice, nice and easy to see what we're doing. So our 5 volts needs to come in through this leg. Our Luma needs to come in, which is from pin 16, into the centre leg. And this leg here, we're going to add a 27 ohm resistor to, and then that'll carry on out to our S video socket. Okay, so we'll quickly put that together. I'll see if I can't bring you just a little bit closer in so you can see. Okay, so we've just got to solder on our white, well in my case white wire, you may have used a different colour, onto our centre leg, just like that. That's our Luma. volt feed ready. Again just going to have a little trim up. Once you've got the first wire done it makes it a little bit easier because it'll hold it there in place for you. So now we're just going to attach the uh, wire from the 5 volts. It just needs a little more solder on there. That's something to work with. And lastly, we need to hook on our 27 ohm resistor. Okay, we just solder this onto the last leg. It's trying to run away from me. Right. There we go. And then all we do is uh, just slip our heat shrink back up into place. And um, you can actually use the, um, the soldering iron if you want to carefully melt that down. Um, I however happen to have a butane torch. So I'm just going to very gently Heat up with one of these. Okay, so it's two legs insulated, and the last one um, we'll just do now. Okay, and just tap our wire onto the end of our resistor. There you go. 
and I'll just carefully just pushing that up into place because we don't want any shorts. Okay. And just a quick bit of hay just to shrink that down so it locks into place. Okay, and that is our little wee video amplifier ready. And if you really want, um, you can encase this in some maybe some hot glue, or um, in my case, I'm actually going to put a bit more heat shrink over the whole lot, so that way it's nice and protected. And everything holds together nice and tight as it should. Let's push that over there like that. And again, just heat that down. Okay, all ready to go. Right, now, we've taken care of the luma, now we've got our blue wire, or whatever colour you happen to have, it goes off to our chroma either way. This one's much easier. Right, for this, we need a 220 microfarad capacitor. There we are, 220 microfarad, as you can see this one's a 16 volt one. And this is polarised and that's actually important and I'll show you why in a second. Um, the other thing you need is a 75 ohm and resistor. It's very important that you note which way around these go. This one, as you can see, has got a big stripe down the side of it with dashes down it. This is the negative side and the negative leg see here that needs to go out to your S video socket you can't it's you really got to make sure you get it the right way around so your positive leg goes on the end of the lead that's going off to your uh, video processor so we'll just quickly get that soldered on there Right, and now we just need to, on the negative leg, add our 75 ohm resistor. So we just solder that onto our negative leg. Okay. So now we can pull our heat shrink up and quickly make that nice and safe. And now we're just going to tap another little bit of wire onto the end of our resistor to go out to our S video socket. Okay, now we're just going to put some uh, heat shrink down on here, and that's actually going to go over the resistor in our leg. And we'll just heat that up. Right. And that's it. Now we're ready to actually attach to our socket. So we've got our chroma all done. And we've got our luma ready to go. The red wire that I attached to pin 20 um, on the Sony video chip. And just going to put a bit of heat shrink on there. Um, and we're going to attach it to our capacitor. Again, um, this one 
is a 220 microfarad 16 volt same as what we used before and again you've got to make sure that the positive leg goes towards the chip alright just move it over so you can see All right. So here we go, soldered onto the positive leg of the capacitor and now we just need to get one of our 75 ohm resistors. Okay, we're just going to solder the resistor onto the negative leg. Just like that, slide that over. And then we just get our butane torch. And just gently heat up a heat shrink so it shrinks down and holds on. And that's it really. Um, we just need to heat this one up and then uh, it's ready to go into our sockets as I'm actually going to thread this into all of the grounds. And what I can do now is just nip along with the soldering iron and just heat these all up. Just seem to get a little bit here. Um, we're just gonna we've done our left and right audio. So now we just need to hook up our composite video. Again, just hooking it over so it holds on for us. Okay, so as a last step, now that we've soldered everything up, um, what I also like to do is I actually go down, and I'm not sure whether you can really see it or not, but I actually put a nice little coating of um, hot glue over everything to make sure it stays nice and secure and in place. And as you can see, my cables are just tucked up underneath the connectors. Um, so that way they're out of the way and you've just got the one line of cabling that comes out from your mega drive and that way you can neatly fold that and under the tin shielding and put it all back together and start enjoying so I'll just wait for this glue to set and then uh, I'll put the machine back together and we'll give it a test okay so we've got our machine all back together and we just try our composite and find a cartridge Just quickly try Harry's video. There we are. 